Hello everyone and uh, today I want to share my views about Lord Buddha because Buddha has already meditated himself and he was a noble man. He lived his life consciously and I hope that the consciousness one of the best thing in our life. Everyone should be conscious and everyone should know that every moment's life being awakening and the dimensions of our life is to be known by everybody. If we are unable to understand the different kinds of dimension in our life, sometimes we will say, feel difficulties. Buddha has said that the sadness will always work with us. The sadness is the part of our life. But everyone to want to be a jovial person. You want to be happy and I want to be happy and everyone wants to be happy. But matter while walking on the path of the life everyone fell everyone becomes sad but how to live a life they forget that what is wrong and what is right sometimes they don't believe on himself or herself that is why i'm going to tell you a story about buddha buddha came at his home after seven years spending his life in forest and after the exiling six years, he returned at home in Lumbini. And we, he came at home. He met to his cousin brother named Deodatta. Deodatta was his cousin brother. And he was very anger person. And he was so naughty. He always becomes became angry on himself and he lived his life happily. He wanted to be in lust. He, he liked to go in, you know, different kinds of place where he, he gets pleasure. And that is why he always drinks and he, he has become lusty. And when Buddha came in the palace and Devadatta asked to Buddha, he said, that the, why did you go to live in forest? And after spending six years, after losing all happiness, after leaving your wife, after leaving your mother, father and your all villas and the peoples who are connected to you. After leaving everything, what did you get? You get only to be a monk and after that, after that Buddha said to Devadatta, he said, I did not go there to earn anything, to get anything, to find anything. I went there to lose anything. I have lost my anger, I have lost my anxiety, I have lost my frustration, I have lost my irritation and now I have gained peace. I find it out how to live the life happily. That is why my dear all, you all have to live your life happily. If you are sad, you are unable to live your life, that means somewhere you are going on wrong, wrong path. You know, why are you going to wrong path? There is one thing behind it, that you fear of every, those things which you are connected with. You don't want to leave, you don't want to leave. You always admire the things which are connected with you well. That is why Eradicate all fears from you. Root your fears from you. 
keep it root out always try to be happy because life is a journey not a destination even after you have reached a goal and goal will come that working hard to believe on your karma once i have said that how you will become success when somebody asked that what is success sir a monk told that the progress growth plus ethics is equal to progress if you are working something and you are getting profit that means you are growing growth and if you are working the working and getting profit honestly that is ethics you are helping somebody and growth and ethics is known as progress you know progress plus humanity that means how you are going to help the people progress plus humanity is called success so how you would become success life is a journey not a destination so always try to be success in every moment keep yourself balanced if you are not be balanced the time is going on the worst one day everyone will leave you that is why spend your time to know yourself become your own light yourself always recognize yourself what you are exactly if you are going to forget yourself that you would unable to live your life happily that is why try to be a good human being and recognize what is ethics if you are fighting with you sometime your mind will not support in you sometime your mind will not help in you sometime you are fighting war between you and your mind it means you are not in peace you are in danger today i am seeing all humanity is in danger so the how you will live your life always focus towards your work always focus towards your job and always talk to yourself what you are exactly my dear and be happy you know buddha became very happy and after that devadatta he became angry he lost his temper and what had happened he went there again and buddha was try to plot to kill him and at last devadatta always tried to kill the buddha because devadatta thought always he used to thought that buddha the good will of buddha is spreading a lot i have also a lot of things but i am unable to do i have power and i can do everything but he is unable to do because he is unable to control his mind and one thing more just believe in yourself always stand with the truth everyone will come with you one day if you are not standing with your with the truth no one will support you and the crowd of a thousands crowd of a millions and billions when you will alone think that no i'm not alone i'm equal to a billions of people here if you are alone that never consider think that if you are right that means it doesn't matter billions of people are again standing with you you are alone is equal to billions of people but you can fight but know that what dimension you are living for in my dear always recognize yourself understand how to be success and try to know yourself thank you so much for watching me keep watching sun institute of english language and this is your friend sandeep gupta and take care of you zain